Hey, thanks for joining. Today we're going to go through changing the clutch out on a 2007 CBR 1000. You don't need to remove the engine to change the clutch. I'm changing the crank in the engine, so I had to remove the engine. Remove all your bolts, crack them loose, and then take each one of them out. After that, to remove the cover, you might need a rubber mallet to help get it off. One thing you want to watch, this washer came off with that cover. That goes right there. Now remove the clutch spring bolts. I like to back them off sequentially in a few steps. Now if you're watching this video, I assume it's because your clutch was slipping and you're trying to fix that. You're just going to change your fiber plates and possibly your steels. Personally, I like to change steels as well. If you need a more in-depth video of how to inspect your clutch, let me know. But what you're going to look for in here right now is burn marks on or hot spots on your uh, pressure plate and clutch center while you're in here. If you've got hot spots there, you're going to need to replace those two. Likewise, if you see any hot spots on your steel plates, you're going to need to replace them also. If you need to remove the clutch center or the clutch basket, you're going to need to first pull out this clutch joint. Now we need to unbolt the clutch center here. This, uh, this has got a retainer nut, so you're going to need to bend that guy out a little bit. Now this takes a 30 millimeter 12 point socket. Got our nut, a washer, and actually we missed our two little spring plates here. Now I'm actually going to just leave those on and pull the center with it. They can stay on there. And I'll just set all that right in there and actually and I'm going to throw a zip tie through that. There's a washer that goes on the back of it as well. Zip tie through this will hold everything together until I'm ready to put it back on. Now our clutch basket will pull off. Clutch basket has a bearing. And there is also a bushing that goes inside of that. If you're enjoying this video, if it's helping you out, please like. And if you would, subscribe. If you think you could use more of my videos, I would really appreciate it. I ran a zip tie around this so I wouldn't lose orientation of anything that went in or where it went. There's the basket itself, a bearing, and another spacer, which once again has a couple cutouts in it, and those are facing out. Now slide the basket on and then turn it to make sure it engages with the oil pump gear. Now we'll need our clutch center. Once again, I ran a zip tie around it. There's a washer that goes right here, the center itself. There's a special fiber disc here. It's a little bit thinner that allows these two springs or this uh, I believe they call it a clutch plate, but basically I wanted to remember easily where that stuff went. So this goes in just like that. I'm going to pull that washer off the back, place that in. Now I'll place my center on. There's two washers that go here. One is slightly larger than the other. The outside one says out on it. Torque spec on that is 94 foot pounds. So we're going to get out our air torque wrench. I'm going to place my sprocket on to hold this. 
to grab a large set of channel locks. And just like that, 94 foot pounds. Then we take a small punch and set this locker. And then the rest of our clutch plate by plate. If you're installing new fiber plates, soak them prior to installation. Install these fiber steel, fiber steel, fiber steel until the clutch is full. And this pusher slides into the center. Now we can put our pressure plate on and add our springs. Torque spec on these is nine foot pounds. I'm going to hold the sprocket again so I can torque these. Now apply a thin layer of Moto Seal to both cases. And then spread it out with a brush. Now reinstall the case cover. And then torque the bolts to 7 foot pounds. Check out the complete playlist of disassembling and reassembling this bike and the engine. Nailed it! I might leave that. <laughs>